So now we're just going to show you uh, some of the stuff that we have at the top. Right there. Uh, our top row, I have some uh, Polaroid boxes. Um, I have a Polaroid print copier, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then just some cool advertising that they have uh, with some of the SX-70s and the, um, uh, the Swinger cameras. I just really like the, the retro colors and just the simplicity of uh, their advertising. Um, the second row here on the top is uh, my duplicate 600s. And then uh, the third row here, these are the coveted um, first Polaroid cameras. Um, these are the two of the automatic land cameras, uh, but everybody loves the 110 and 110A uh, a and 110B cameras just because of the sweet uh, glass and the manual settings. Um, this is one of my favorite cameras. It's um, It was made uh, to do macro um, and a lot of people, I guess professionals that were in the, um, the dental or I think um, medical field use this camera to document um, close-up shots. So if you wanted a nice photograph or a nice documentation of your teeth, this would be the go-to Polaroid camera. Um, I use this when I want to document like a, a nice uh, wedding ring or something and I wanted to have instant photo of it. This is the camera that I use. Um, supposedly this next camera was Andy Warhol's favorite. Um, this is Polaroid Big Shots. Um, I have two working ones, um, uh, but this is an amazing uh, portraiture camera. So if you just wanted a nice, you know, head and shoulder photograph um, on a Polaroid, this would be the go-to one. It's very sharp, even though it's um, a plastic lens. Uh, great camera. This row, uh, I have uh, some SX-70s. This is the, the coveted um, camera that everybody wants to have, um, just because it actually folds flat. So you can just stick this in your coat pocket. This is um, Edwin Land's masterpiece camera. This is the camera that he wanted to give everybody just so that um, the working man could have this and the business person could actually just carry it in their coat pocket. So this was designed to fit right in your, your jacket. Um, I've never seen this used. Um, this was uh, a Captiva, I guess it took many cartridges, um, but this didn't really go well with the general public, so this uh, went obsolete as it pretty much came out. Um, the photograph itself were super tiny business card size. Um, these are just novelty uh, Polaroid cameras. Um, the Joy Cam. Uh, it just had those mini photographs. Uh, same with the, the iZone cameras, just the mini sticker ones. So I found this um, uh, 600. It, this is this model. Um, it's kind of like a macro, but um, not as precise. This isn't one of my favorite cameras. It, does not have uh, any manual settings other than um, eye, um, red eye reduction. Um, this three sets were pretty much the same as the four that were up here. Um, I just received this one today from uh, 
photographer fan. So he had that in his home and decided to give it to me. Um, I think this was the first um, Polaroid camera that uh, Dr. Edward Land created. Um, this isn't the first one, but this model itself is the first. Um, and then we have our Swinger editions and our color packs. I love this camera because of the lens, it's just very sharp. Um, just the only downfall is that you have to uh, focus by distance. So if you're not good with uh, measuring mentally, uh, this is not the camera for you. But if you like uh, the ability just to have a nice walk around uh, camera and not really have to think so much other than just checking your distance, this is a great, amazing, sharp camera. One of my favorites is the mugshot camera. Actually, I had to modify um, the trigger because the trigger on this side was no longer there. So I made my own shutter release over here. Just tug on the iHeart photo lay button and it snaps the photo. And then um, I have some notes on the back here. Um, of where my subjects need to stand if I want to create uh, two images on one Polaroid. So, and then I have my string to create the, the distance uh, to make sure my subjects are in focus. Um, and then now we start with our coveted land cameras. Um, I think there were 42 different types of models, but um, this is the camera I'm going to start really hunting for right now. Um, this is the first one of the series, so it's the hun uh, 100. But focusing and copy shutter, perfect, and it snaps. Amazing camera, just like the SX70, it folds pretty flat. So this is a must-have if you are uh, addicted to instant cameras. <laughs>